Great paper. We could use that. Good. It, it helps me visualize these things if we become them, like we do back home. Okay then, how about if you guys here are Adam and Eve? <laughs> here, Eve, hold this. <laughs> <laughs> Abraham, Sarah, Isaac, and Rebecca start handing them around. Now keep passing it, can you just keep passing it and everybody see if you can see it? And if you want, we'll start another branch over there. <laughs> Okay, keep passing that around. So we got Abraham, Sarah, Isaac, Rebecca, Jacob, Russell, and Joseph. And you over here are the strand for today, starting with Rahab, who married Salmon. Wait a minute. Can you say Salmon? She married a guy named Salmon? Oh, that's a cool name. <laughs> it's true, look it up. Rahab and Salmon, and they had a son named Boaz, who married Ruth, who has a whole book about her in the Bible. And Boaz and Ruth had a son named Obed, who had a son named Jesse. And Jesse had lots of kids, and one of them was David, who became King David. Ah, and eventually Jesus is born in the line of David. As we'll talk about next week. I can see it now, in front of my eyes. In help, in help. Thanks. And another thing that this can help us see is that God needs all of us, not just leaders and kings and rulers and big shots, and not even just the Jews, but people from everywhere. Insiders, outsiders, humble people, regular folks, people we might never have guessed in advance would become a central part of God's story. Like Rahab, whom God called to help the Israelites, and she did and a shepherd boy whom God inspired to become a leader and eventually to become King of Israel, King David. God calls all of us to be part of this tree and it really is a tree of life. That's cool. But at our family reunion, now is the moment when we all sing the family song. From all our The family song? Sure. And I think we could sing it here too. It's easy. One, two, three, four. We are family. Sing us all here on the screen. We are family. Rahab and Sam and 